good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Including go to here, Four Bells. It's a relative newcomer to the Pride Circuit. But even just in their third year, they are one of the most popular stops all weekend long. And when I stopped in for a preview, I found plenty of reasons why. Four Bells has always been about family and community and giving back. We do a lot of charity work with, you know, the Children's Hospital. And this is just something that's close to my heart. I know my staff, it's close to them as well. If you don't already know it, the Twin Cities Pride Festival is for you because Pride is all about including everyone. Plus, everyone loves to eat. We'll be doing a fried chicken sandwich and a lote, which is corn on the cob, and a butcher in the boar bratwurst. You can scarf down that street food on Saturday from 11 to 3 and Sunday 11 to 5 right in front of Four Bells. The main event is a rooftop party from 11 to 7 on Sunday. It is a 21 plus party, uh, so you'll get wristbanded. We have the Minneapolis Fire Department as our security guards for the day, so they will be happy to assist you in getting in. Bring your cash for the food and drinks, but to get in... Zero cover. Really? Yes, zero cover. We're probably one of the only ones in the park here. Okay, so you can bet it'll be a little busy, and so to have fast and reliable service, Four Bells will limit their menu. Not a bad idea even for your backyard party if it's a big group. Tell me about the drink specials for Pride. Basically, we're going to do three different cocktails. Um, a lot of them are going to be kind of a fruit floor where we have a watermelon, strawberry, and then kind of a violet, more bitter flavor drink. And then we're going to be doing kind of house red and white wines and then tap beers and then our wonderful slushy as well. Okay, what's in the slushy this year? So the slushy is going to be a blackberry daiquiri. Today I'm learning how to make the Harmon Place. Would you say that this is a cousin of a Negroni then in a way? Between the citrus, the Aperol, and the gin? Yeah, kind of, absolutely. Okay. A gin Aperol blend forms the backbone of the drink, which is batched at Four Bells. One of the gins in it is Leatherby Gin out of Chicago. Um, you get a nice kind of fennel flavor up forward, but I like that in the finish. You get kind of an okay. anise like peppery flavor. And then one ounce of the cordial that we make. Then what we do is we squeeze two limes into it just to kind of add a little bit more of that citrus lime forward flavor. And we shake it for about 12 seconds. Strain it into a Collins glass over fresh ice, top with soda water, and add a lime twist. Cheers. Mmm, that's so light and refreshing. The ingredients are akin to a Negroni. I mean, it's certainly related, but it's nowhere near as bold of a flavor as that. This yeah. is much more refreshing yep. and easily uh, easy to have more than one. A reminder that Four Bells will be cash only this weekend. There will be ATMs on site. And also, the first 100 people to get a wristband for that rooftop party get a free cocktail passport, which gets you two-for-one cocktail specials at bars all across Minneapolis and a few in St. Paul. We did a story on that program a few mm -hmm. weeks ago. A link to that and today's recipe is at WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix. That's a great bonus. I, I picked yeah. one up the other week. and uh, So you should have waited. <laughs> I, well, yeah, but people, that'll be a good deal for other folks who are heading out this yeah, weekend. Yeah, it'll be fun.